Hello everybody and welcome to my first vlog of 2023. I actually have a new vlog camera that I'm going to be playing around with. A lot is also happening. Joey is walking for the first time today. If you didn't know my horse Joey was in a very nasty accident just around a month ago now. So he's been on box rest, kind of kept in his stable so he doesn't hurt himself even more. But today the vets are letting us walk him for the first time. So that might be a little interesting. Also, we are doing a bit of cottage renovation today. I think we might even start painting because I've finally decided on my paint samples. But first I thought I'd show you a few little house bits that have changed. Now, I don't want to show you guys too much because I probably will do a cottage renovation episode on this. But the wall of indecision has got bigger. I have finally decided on some paint colours. The thing is, the paint colours don't really look like how they should be on this wall because number one, it's white, so they all look a lot darker. And also because of the lighting in here, we do need to swap some of the lights around. But I finally decided, which is very exciting. I also have some other bits around the fireplace, which is really cute. I have this little lantern here that my boyfriend got me for Christmas, which is very cute. And also a um, bucket that has kindling in, which just goes with the whole sort of look that I'm going for. It actually matches the fireplace perfectly. I also had this little fire poker set and it has leaves on which is just very very cute and I feel like this fireplace area is really sort of coming to life. I'm excited to paint it as well because I feel like a pop of colour will really you know be a huge drastic change but I think it will look really good. I'll only give you a sneak peek of the bathroom but ooh, there we go that's all you're getting that's all you're getting. That's all I'm going to show you the house now because I actually need to go to the horses, give them their breakfast because they're probably getting a little bit hungry now. I also need to get changed. At the moment, all of my clothes are still at my parents' house, so I'm going to be going over in my joggers and then get changed into riding stuff when I'm there. Let's go five minutes down the road. <laughs> horses have had their breakfast they're now all turned out and ready and it's finally time for me to actually get changed because uh, I thought I'd do the horses as my priority first so kind of done that in my pajamas slash joggers this is today's outfit most of it is from Ariat that I'm very lucky to be a sponsored rider for also I have just gone for a light sort of rain jacket because it's so mild today it does not feel like January also this is clean does anybody else find it really gross when people do like outfit of the days and they put their dirty shoes soul down on the bed all right time to leave my loft it is disgusting in there it is gross it's so messy and everything's kind of just all over the place because I'm kind of in that stage of moving house but not quite moving house because everything's still kind of here because there's carpet moth upstairs so <laughs> we're now up here with the horses they've all had their breakfast Casper's actually out with the haylage nets so I'm gonna grab him in a sec Joey here has had lots of fun on box rest. I think he's secretly been enjoying the extra attention, treats, that kind of thing. What are you sniffing for? Actually, to be fair, I do have treats in my pocket so you can have a few. I'm one of those people that I always have horse treats in my pocket and I just keep them in there. So I always, when I wash my things, have to make sure that I do take the treats out. If not, you get this kind of like mush of treats and things. Yes, would you like to show everybody your leg? Joey's now got his bandage off, but it's kind of back on again, I'll show you. So this is our makeshift bandage at the moment that's on Joey. I've just given Joey something to eat on because he doesn't like it when I talk to the vlog camera and don't give him attention because you're a little attention seeker, aren't you? Yes. He's also very clever. So this is a contraption we've sort of come up with, which is a swinger in a net. Oh no, he's, he's pushing it against the wall. Joey, you're too clever. I need to put that higher. Oh, there we go. That wasn't a very good plan. I thought it was being really clever. Anyway, the vet said we could take his bandage off, so we did. It was looking great, all fine. And then I think Joey decided to use his bad leg to kick against his haylage net to try and get the haylage out. And he just ripped one of the scabs and then it started bleeding. So he's got a makeshift um, at home rather than vet standard bandage on at the moment. Also, uh, Mickey here just wants to say hi. Hi to the vlog. Mickey is currently Joey's companion pony. I will get him a treat as well because that's unfair. But yeah, Mickey's doing very well. He is just licking my arm currently. I will give him some snacks as well because it's unfair that Joey has a treat and you don't, isn't it, Mickey? Anyway, he's been so good at being Joey's sort of friend next door while Joey's been on box rest. But anyway, now it's time to grab Casper, get him groomed and get him ready for a ride. Oh, you're so licky. Stop. 
stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue clean and is looking very smart. I'm actually going to be taking him on a hack today. I did school him yesterday so today's his hacking day. He's one of those horses that finds schooling a little bit more boring if, unless I make it interesting by doing lots of different things, pole work, that kind of stuff because Caspi here does find it. It's not it's not his favourite thing, is it? No. All I need to do is put Casper's bridle on and then we are ready to go, aren't we Casp? Yeah! Wind me up and watch me choke He could build me with feathers and break me with smoke. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful sunny day it is today I can't lie, the fields are so wet and squelchy, so we're taking it a little bit slower than we normally do across this bridle path. In the summer, I just let Casper go and my eyes start watering sometimes because he can go pretty fast. But anyway, he is just enjoying himself, plodding along, and I'll see you guys when we're back home. Hold me till I can breathe And his eyes tell me things his mouth can't achieve Me, I feel a thousand different ways Still I'd rather act than articulate I've got cracks on my back and my shoulder in my way is shook. Where's he gone? Oh, I'm glad he's still around. Look, there he is. There he is. See ya. Oh, I'm glad I was recording then. So I'm currently on the road in between my parents' house and my house and where the horses are kept kind of thing. And there is this albino squirrel on this corner that for a while, it was like a week, I saw it every single morning when going to the horses. And just as Casper and I were riding along, bam, runs out in front of us. So I've named him Albino Bill. Don't know why, so that's why I was kind of like screaming, Albino Bill, Albino Bill, because I hadn't seen him in ages. So I thought, you know, he might, might have passed away or something like that, but no, he's here, he's going strong. And um, what a rare sight. You don't see many albino squirrels over here. So that was very exciting. <laughs> We are now back from our ride and Casper was a very good boy. Also, look at the absolute state of his legs. Oh my goodness, those boots definitely look like they need to go in the washing machine. Although, I've got to say, his stud girth doesn't look too bad. Alright, it's time to grab some treats for Caspi. Here he is, waiting very patiently. Hey Caspi, here you go. Oh, his moustache is so long now, isn't it, Casp? Got your winter tash. Boop. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm now here with Joey and it's time to take him for a little walk. I feel like the arena will probably be the safest place to do it. I'm also going to use a lunge line and also um, walk him in a bridle just so I have a little bit more control in case he does decide to go a little bit crazy because it might be very exciting. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, that's your bad leg. Is that stop it? As you can see, Joey has found it quite exciting to be in the wash bay. So hopefully he is a good boy. Um, I do have my helmet on as well, just because um, the other day, I, well, we didn't like properly walk him. We just took him up and down the kind of track and he kind of simulated flying a kite. That's what it was like, wasn't it, Joey? You were mental, weren't you? He kind of crow hopped all four feet off the ground. We were like, nope. Not today, so hopefully you're a good boy today, aren't you, mister? Oh, he can smell the treats in my pocket. I'll give you a treat, shall I? There we go. Good man. Yeah, we'll keep your ruggy on as it is. It's got a little bit chillier now, it really has. 
Oh, that has gone down my sleeve. He's also completely booted up as well. That's your bad leg. You're so silly. He does seem pretty sound in walk from the little bit we did the other day, but this is his first proper walking around in the arena. What do you think, Jojo? Walking for the first time in a month. Are you looking forward to it? Going back in the arena. Joey is a horse that has a very busy brain so my plan for today's session when walking him around for only five minutes was to try and make it as interesting as possible but without being exciting. I knew that if I just walked him around the outside of the arena he would probably get quite bored, he needs that mental stimulation so to keep him on his toes I did lots of changes of directions, serpentine circles, obviously nothing too tight because we don't want him to put any extra strain on his leg. He started to get a little antsy so I decided to do some transitions to keep him occupied so from walk to halt and halt to walk. At the beginning of the session he was such a good boy I was expecting me to sort of lead him out into the arena and him to explode or want to jog or trot or anything like that and he just walked along with me. I also talked to him the whole way round telling him he was a good boy, talking about my day, just keeping his brain busy again. However as the session went on he wanted to do this thing where he would chew on the lunge line and want to kind of have it in his mouth so he would start to shake his head get a little bit restless and to be honest I don't really blame him we all know what it was like when we were in lockdown and to be in a stable for a whole month and not even be able to walk around must have been really hard for Joey and then they got to one point near the end of the session where I think everything just got a little bit too much and he exploded obviously we don't want this to happen again we've consulted our vet about this and they've actually prescribed us some gel to give to Joey to calm him down a little bit more. We're also going to do some long raining with him which should hopefully keep his brain a little bit more engaged and also be a bit safer for myself as well. Luckily I don't think Joey's antics on this particular day cause any further damage to his injury but we do have to be really careful with him. Joey is now having some lunch after a very exciting first rehab session in the arena. Have you come to say hello? <laughs> Joey, have you come to say hello to the camera? Yeah? Anyway, I wasn't, well, as I said at the beginning, he might be a bit wild, but he was more wild near the end. I think what happened was he was fine to start with. He wasn't like a wild beast suddenly. Oh, he's moved. <laughs> he wasn't like a wild beast that had suddenly been released from a cage. It was very much him, like he was very good to start with. I was actually really surprised how good he was. He just started to get a little bit bored. He wanted to play with the lunge line, give it a cheer. And I had to tell him a few times, no, Joey, you're not playing with the lunge line. And um, he got a little bit worked up and he had some pent up energy that he released by leaping up in the air. But hopefully <laughs> um, in future sessions, he won't be so wild. He might have just got it all out of the system then, but you never know, it might be the opposite and he knows he's going out for a walk. So he gets really excited for that. So we'll just have to wait and see, but hopefully he isn't, isn't too cray cray. Hey Joey. He's just happy to have food right now, to be honest. Now, I've just come out to give the little guys some haylage for lunch and oh my goodness, Mickey's face is absolutely disgusting. Hey little mud monsters. Hi Duke, hello. Oh my goodness, Mickey. Mickey, no, what have you done to yourself? Look at you, you're a disgrace. You are disgusting. Oh, that is very cute, I've got to say. You're both very adorable, aren't you? But Mickey, I'm sorry. Mate, what is this? What is it? What have you done to yourself? <laughs> oh, you just licked Duke. Hey, hey. Would you guys like some lunch? Would you like some haylage? Yeah? Sounds good? Sounds good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but these two, adorable. Too cute. I've also just realized that the tack room is an absolute disgrace. So I thought I'd do a quick little time lapse of me getting everything clean and tidy because I always find cleaning videos or videos where people sort of tidy things really satisfying. I don't know if that's just me. Let me know in the comments if you like seeing that kind of stuff. But for me, like also before and afters, it's just it just looks so much better afterwards.
and tidy up and there are still a few things I need to sort out. However, I have swept the floor and that's made a huge difference and it just looks so much better. We're now back at the cottage and you're probably wondering why we're in black and white and that is because this vlog will probably go up before the cottage renovation series episode that I'm currently filming now um, with the main camera. Uh, the walls are partly painted, obviously you can see the bits that I've missed, need to go over those with a smaller brush, but I think I'm going to finish the vlog here because if not I don't want to give too many spoilers of what the cottage is looking like now. Um, so anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog, I love filming sort of chatty vlogs like this. I feel like you get to see a little bit more of the behind the scenes of my life, what I get up to with the horses and also the cottage now as well too. So let me know if you want to see more videos like this because I always find they're really fun. It's kind of like talking to a friend on FaceTime. They're a little bit more raw. Obviously I love my videos to be really high production and that kind of thing and this one's a little bit more raw but let me know what you like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.